Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? It's another episode of Notable Prisons and the Inmates that's occupied. Oh, sorry, it's been a little hiatus. The player's been a little, little bit busy, but I'm back. So anyways, we're going to take a trip to FPC Doleth, which is... Wait, 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 wait. Get your lighters ready. Okay. Anyways, to FPC Doleth, which is a minimum security federal prison in North Central United States, to be exact, is located in Minnesota for all the male offenders. You know what I'm saying? It's operated by the feds. But anyways, FPC Doleth is located uh, on the former Doleth Air Force Base near the southwestern tip of Lake Superior, halfway between Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Canada, United States border. Hey, that's a tricky little demographic little area up there in the in the upper in the upper United States. Like how the water like, you know, it separates us from Canada and you could like literally like throw Yeah, it's kind of cool. But anyways, let me tell you something about the little stuff that be going on there. On March 29, 2011, a reporter from CBS affiliate station in Minnesota interviewed Danny Hecker an inmate at FPC Doleth. Hecker, was, who made millions of dollars as the owner of car dealerships, was serving a 10-year sentence after pleading guilty to bankruptcy fraud in 2010. The reporter, Esme Murphy, described their interview. He was dressed in a surplus army fatigues from the 60s, the uniform of all inmates. Hey, i tell you one thing about uh, young Danny Hecker. He came home, and he came home to a bag. You know, that money gained so much interest. But... Hecker has since been transferred to FCI Laredo, a low-security facility in Pennsylvania with an adjacent minimum security satellite camp. But, like I said, he was released on July 3rd, 2018. Welcome home, player, young fly one. Uh, next we have Joshua Bellamy. He's a former NFL wide receiver who played eight seasons in the league, and he played guilty in 2021 to fraudulent re receiving coronavirus relief loans. And he is scheduled for release September 9th, 2023. That's crazy because he was already in the league making money. So I don't know why he was trying to scam some shit. Anyways, next we have Jerry Koosman. He's a former MLB pitcher. And he pled guilty in 09 of federal tax charges. But he was released from custody. He only served six months. Next, we have Stuart Levine. He was a major campaign contributor for the former Illinois governor, Rod Blagovigin. <laughs> he pled guilty to mail fraud and money laundering in 2012. He testified for the prosecution at the trials of Blagovich, Tony Retzko, and William Cellini. Oh, man. So this dude was like a lightweight tattletale. Oh, you know what? i tell you what. They should have known he was going to tell. <laughs> giggity, giggity. Who got that? But he was released in August 2016, and he served five years. Next, we have Tony Silva, world-renowned expert on rare birds, convicted of conspiracy to commit wildlife smuggling and filing a false tax return. He was released from custody in May of 2002. So y'all gave him 70 years for smuggling some birds. Well, I guess it could have been detrimental to the uh, ecosystem or something, I suppose. Look at me using big words, people. See, I didn't learn to think, think of two since I've been gone. Uh, next, we have Stu Voigt. He's a former tight end with the Minnesota Vikings. In February 2016, a, a jury found Voigt guilty of aiding and abetting bank fraud. And he was released from custody in May 2017. He only served six months. Here we go again. Someone else in the league doing some extracurricular activities. Y'all are crazy, bro. I don't understand it. Um, next, probably the interesting person on this list is Walter White. Yep, I said it. Walter White. Walter Jack White. He was a meth cook charged with drug possession and firearm violations, and he's known for sharing the name with the fictional, fictional drug cook, Mr. Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. So if you see that as in the thumbnail, that's why. <laughs> But, hey, man, I appreciate y'all for watching and sticking in there. Subscribe so you'll be notified when I drop new episodes. I'm going to get back on the ball and keep it very consistent. And I appreciate y'all that's been sticking through with me. Um, I hope y'all had a great Christmas and a great New Year. Um, man, and let's keep it moving. That part, player. <laughs>